someone doesn't have any questions, I'll, I could give a little process because I know one of the hardest things, it's not a thing where you just go and use it and it's going to react to you. They actually have it in the books as a three-day process. And you don't want to set it right on top of something. You want to give it a little space away. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do to two to three inches. So I always say somebody, I'm going to check the, your energy on your head in just a second. Because, see, you're okay. using that. And it's, uh, it's going to be already climatized. So it'll, it'll be climatized for your magnetic pole that you have, who okay. you are. So that's good. I'm going to use that one on you to see what energy is coming out of you. Oh, I can only imagine what's <laughs> coming out of me. Yeah, I really can. Mm -hmm. So now if you're thinking you can't get your pedal in the move, and uh, Brenda said something really sweet, too. She said, don't crash your legs, and that's true. Absolutely true. Don't crash your legs. So you can kind of stand like you would balancing your body, and you want to, uh, with your feet apart, you want to stretch your left hand to the north, which is back here and here. Okay. And then you stretch your right arm to the south. Okay. So you can do that like this. Stand there um, and uh, just stand there for a few minutes and do that. And what you're going to do is increase the magnetic force flow through you from the north and the south. Okay. Because rather we want or not, if you go back into your science books, we have a magnet magnetic pole from the north and south pole. And oh. by putting your arm out direct to north and south, we're going to do that to ourselves. We'll get more magnetized and then you'll be able to use your pendulum a little better. Okay. Okay. So now, after that, you can take your um, hand and you can stroke it down your body briskly. You know, just do your stroke your body. Okay. You know, just kind of like give it the strokes, <laughs> kind of energizing yourself. And you can do the right side of the head and brush it uh, with your left hand. And then brush the right hand. You're just uh, energizing yourself <laughs> after you held your... It just seems kind of silly, but anything, whatever, you know. People on the street are like... <laughs> yeah, we're out here what are they brushing doing our hair. in this radio station? <laughs> Always doing something odd. Mm -hmm. So this is all that just doing by brushing the body down. I think sometimes yeah. when people massage you, you notice that they'll, they'll do that mm -hmm. just to... Um, Put your magnetic uh, energy back because uh, we are. That's right. I never noticed that, pull. but they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's what this is doing. It's just to uh, uh, get yourself more magne magnetic uh, energy flowing through your body. Okay. So you can do that if you can't get your pendulum to go. You can uh, use your your arms as your antenna, <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of fun. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm going to use that one. Okay. I will gladly give it to you. So if you want to check somebody out, you can just put it about two to three inches above their head. And of course, I'm going to relax. And then it's going to show me Stacy. It is already starting to move. Oh, it likes me. Wow. Wow, I guess. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So she has a lot. And, and, and it is, it's, wow, it is spinning in a positive way. Uh, you you have yours clockwise, right? For yes. Yes. Okay, you have very good energy on you, by the way. So there, it ah. just pour, and you can see I'm not moving my hand. Right. Which just seems kind of odd not to like. <laughs> so that's kind of how you can check them. Um, and your kids are sleeping. Go and check them out. <laughs> so Make sure okay. everything's going how, okay. How are my kids doing today? But um, um, they used to be like a a regular tool. So, um, even as you want to buy a piece of clothing, you can simply use your pendulum to check it out if this is something you should buy for yourself. Okay. Because you could actually um, keep yourself in total harmony if you have if you were, if you have a pendulum that you know you feel comfortable with that works for you, um, you can use it. Like when you become to, to a decision that you're uncertain about, mm -hmm. then you can ask it if um, if that's good for you. Now, it doesn't do anything like, am I going to win the lottery? <laughs> it's not a future predictor. <laughs> can, I, can I gamble on this number? Am I going to win with this? It just don't, really doesn't do those things. It'll probably, 
if you're asking it the wrong question, it may just shimmy mm -hmm. like back and forth because it it is an, it'll do this shimmy thing sometimes. Yeah, it's just a uh, not a uh, process for it. It's just a Pocahontas thing. Um, everything has the energy of its mm -hmm. own, and you're just tapping into its energy to help you energetically. And once you have it energized, then you'll know if something is good for you or not. That's all. Okay. And it's not going to do anything else. Right. <laughs> and it's not it's not black magic. It's no. not witchcraft. People no. aren't reaching out from the undead no. and uh, no. and and making your pendulum move. It's just no. an it's an it's working off. Mm -hmm. Pulses, energy, yeah. pulls in the around you, and yeah. So when we're we're done discussing this a little, I, I will read a little bit of information on them to give a little understanding that it is really just a technical thing. In fact, uh, Harvard, you did had a big thing. Oh, I did bring that. Just they did a little. Uh, there's a little brochure on here where Harvard did a little study it says they dropped it since there was no practical use for it <laughs> but this was this is a little brochure and it gives like it's been with my and it gives it's from Harvard it talks about the different types of energy and I just thought that was like maybe a little in depth but I brought it because they they have uh, worked on them and studied on them at Harvard. I, I have no idea if they're still doing that, but they did drop it because they felt like it wasn't, what are, what are they going to gain other than in each individual needs to do their own? Sure. So, huh. but that was a little brochure that was put out. Um, huh. So it gave you the scientific thing. It has nothing to do with how to stand or anything like that. It just just tells the different kind of energies on the earth and, and how the pendulum can work for it and why it works. Hmm. So that was kind of interesting. That is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Kind of just changing the views on, it's just a helpful tool if you wish it. If you don't, it's a lot of extra work. You, 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 it's one more thing <laughs> you have to carry with you to do. <laughs> you know, and, uh, <laughs> now, do you ever do the, like, write down on, like, several decisions? Do you ever do that where you write it on paper and, like, a wheel and you see which way it goes? And, you know, like, sometimes I'll say what is in the best interest or the greater mm -hmm. good of whatever mm -hmm. situation it is. And I'll well, usually put, good, like... greater good, that'll work. Yeah. And it then works. I'll usually do, like, mm -hmm. three options. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't go the same way all the time because I've done an experiment and I've tried to take those same three options, mm -hmm. move them around, mm -hmm. and the pendulum always goes in whatever direction that. Does it repeat the same thing mm -hmm. or to make it? Oh, yep. it does. Yep. Okay. So it's not like it just likes to go right and left or likes to go up and down. If I move it, it'll go sideways. If I mm. move it, it'll go crossways. Oh. This way, it'll go. You know, it'll follow whatever option it said the first time. It'll follow that everywhere it goes on a wheel. Oh, interesting. I've never done that. I have not done that. Because I wanted to show people. Oh. When they're like, well, that's because oh. that's just the way it wants to go. I'm like, mm -mm. no, because I will ask it the same question and I'll move it to this side and it will go up and down and follow the option that is supposedly in my greater good for mm -hmm, my greater mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. And it will follow it. It'll always do greater good. It will not do anything else. <laughs> if, if, if you're asking for it in your benefit, mm -hmm. your help, yes. If it's beyond like <laughs> anything, any kind of greedy or you know advancement, it won't work. Right. It, you just don't even get an answer. It does the funny stuff, and you go, "Well, this thing doesn't work." Is because it's they're not designed for that. They. It's not going to pick your lottery numbers. No. <laughs> no. No, no. Because it might not be in your greater good yeah, in the lottery. Right. There you got You've the right that answer. You've seen that before. Yeah, People I blow know. through their money in a year and a half, and yes. their life was miserable, yeah. and mm -hmm. so you never know. Now, there's one other cute thing we ought to say about the pendulums okay. is that once you once you got it to go yes and no for you, and you got this really great thing going, sometimes you can make it go yes and no so quickly, and... Um, that can be the logical mind trying to take control. So I know, I don't know, um, when scientists study, like they're doing it, disease cells and they're studying them and they're coming up with a cure, and I know you probably read this where they become that scientist. Mm -hmm. they, they will react like that scientist. So, so a pendulum will do that too. Once it becomes in your energy, it can act in your interest. So it's always yeah. best. Now, even though in your mind, you don't have to say it out loud mm -hmm. to ask the question. So it has something to answer other than uh, being you. And the other thing is, if uh, you want to, you can say, show me. 
that's a good word for it to say show me okay and um Sometimes if you talk too stern, or like boom, <laughs> take off because it was like oh, Sh- yelling at me. Show me, <laughs> give me an answer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, and it's really fun because you can, like you said, um, you bought this one, and I bought, I got mine too at the Treasures of the Sea and Earth. But mm-hmm. you can also get them online and stuff. Oh yeah, that one. Came it's just from nice Arizona. to go to go pick some out. Mm-hmm. You know, to go mm-hmm. pick it out yourself. Yeah, she and I think really what like. I liked about the place that you sent me there, she makes them. And yeah, she does. Yeah, mm-hmm. and and for me, the made with love is nice. Mm-hmm. I, I right. like that. Appreciate it. <laughs> He's getting very. She loves the pendulum. Oh, Tommy, Tommy really? loved the pendulum. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh, he's glued to the the window. <laughs> he's hypnotized now. He's hypnotized. He'll do Hi. whatever we want oh. now. Well, good. That's. Do good. you want him to go get something for you? You just tell him now because he's hypnotized. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, he goes where? Who? <laughs> um, so um, before we're done, I was gonna. Uh, I have this much. I was gonna make sure. I didn't okay. M- do we have time for that yes. still? Yes. Oh, yeah, for sure. Go ahead. How much time? We have, um, we have eight minutes. Eight minutes. I need it. Okay. Okay. I, because I don't, I don't want to have any misconceptions okay. about it. All right. And I want to give a little bit of uh, something from the history. So okay. So that people will know this is not just uh, lightly an object that um, it, is, it is very honorable and it does help the human person. Okay. So the pendulum is an instrument to measure vibrations emitting from people or objects. It is really meant to do that. It is not an in- instrument to make predictions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in the Bible, you can read, there are several places, and I should have wrote the quotes for everybody, where it says it's a measure. It's a measure instrument. Uh, whatever power the object or person possesses, it's owed to the type of electrical charge or vibration it's emitting. So whatever, you know, when I put it over your head, that's what you, we were getting is what it was you were emitting, and this was a measure. It mm-hmm. was measuring your electrical charge. Right. Okay, so it was actually doing something. This means every object radiates energy. This desk, we can find out what energy this desk is doing. The chairs we're sitting on, that tree out there in the window, you could go out there and check what energy it's doing. Um, actually, we live in a sea of energy like the fish live in an ocean and is carried around by water. So we live in an ocean of energy and forces by which the way, by the way, we couldn't live without this anyway. Mm-hmm. So we, we need this. This is a powerful force over the earth that the magnetic stream, which goes from north to south, this force stirs up the stagnant vibrations of huge cities and mollifies it, cleans them out without our doings. So this is going on all by itself by magnetically cleaning mm-hmm. the air. Well, we can look at it like wind and say, oh, yeah, I can see how the wind blows. But anyway, just to tell you the uh, beauty and the honor of how wonderful a pendulum is. This magnetic force orbits the earth from the north and the south are also penetrating us. We all take part in this force that is helping harmonize, invigorating, and sustaining us. This stream enters our body predominantly through the left hand and the left ear, which I mentioned Mm -hmm. earlier, the left hip and the left foot. It takes a path through the nervous system to re-enter the earth flow, goes down, then it comes back out through our right hand, our right hip, and our right foot. This whole process is called our life force. So that's why when we write we are writing out our life force. Mm -hmm. So it's coming into us and then we bring it out. And that's why our writing changes too. Yeah. So there's as we (laughs) change your writing changes too. Analyze writing. So that's why I love that part too. (laughs) That's why you do that. That's why you like pendulums and you do that scene. I do. All all one. Yes. The more sensitive a person, the more life force will affect them. You know, Jesus said that we don't live by bread alone. And it took us so long to understand this his words well 2000 years to realize how these divine forces force fields carry us nurture us and keep us going he didn't just what does he mean he didn't live by bed alone <laughs> oh yeah okay there's water <laughs> anyway so he was talking about the magnetic pole of the north and the south of you know of the earth it wasn't just something really simple when he just said that okay now einstein said energy and matter are interchangeable the unseen energies move the rod, the reed, or the pendulum. 
So the energies are unchangeable. It doesn't matter what, uh, who you are, what it is. They all have the energy. And rather you use, you can simply use your ring. You could use anything that will let you, people use pencils. And can, oh, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and can get uh, that force. So that's what Einstein experimented and he, he tried. And that's what he was talking about. Now it's up to each of us to translate these energies correctly in God's love. And once you have learned to use a pendulum, you will never want to be without one. So you can check your food to see if it's right for you, if it's ripe, if it's ready to eat or not. Does it work for your body? Well, you know, is this good for your family? This is an exceptionally excellent, I mentioned earlier, about people who have allergies. So if you have someone has allergies or you yourself, the pendulum is just your godsend really you can use it to check your clothing i think i mentioned that check plants oh, should i buy this yeah. plant does this plant want to live with me mm -hmm. or not and are they healthy and then should i buy these flowers you can do the same for books oh i should tell her it's a cute little thing here i was we were at uh, the shop and my daughter said she was going to get these rocks and yeah. she uh, said with the rock said that it was for somebody else to have okay she put it back so that's the energy uh -huh. that you can get from everything. Mm -hmm. So that was not. Or some people may pick it up and say, oh, no, I guess I shouldn't buy it. But they maybe didn't go into the fore, full thought of it. Mm -hmm. so, right. They picked it up because it looked yeah. pretty. And yeah, they thought it should oh, be them. Yeah. And then you might be talking about rocks. You might be talking mm -hmm. about chicks. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you might have picked them up because they're pretty <laughs> yeah. and they look like yeah, it's something yeah. that you yeah. want. But true. when you check, it's not a good match for you. <laughs> Give me the same thing. So bring your pen in when you're out. Checking out all the guys and the and When you're the out chicks. at the bar. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a good pickup line, too. <laughs> yeah. People wonder Can what the I hell you're you doing. Can I check you please? <laughs> yeah. Are you good for me? So you want to keep the questions very simple. If the questions aren't simple, the answers can't come. So do not ask like this. Should I do this or should I do that? That's not the right mm -hmm. way to ask. It is an instrument for survival. So it's a helpful tool to use in our Pluto world today. So it gives us a way to measure yes or no to, to benefit who we mm -hmm. ourselves. Okay, help is always available in our vast, fast-moving societies. Acquire the knowledge and then the benefit from, from this perfect, mag magnificent uh, manifestation of harmony can be yours. So lift your eyes and reach. And whence hence come, cometh your help. That I took from the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Well, that's awesome. Thanks for the little tutorial today. Okay. So if anybody has any questions, they can ask you, and um, hopefully um, everybody understand this is just to bring information to everyone. Yes. It's not to say you... It's not a future predictor. No. no. Yeah. And I do not do this because anything or other reason. So, right. Mm -hmm. Do so. not get rid of your kids because they're just <laughs> right? negative. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah Dan, <laughs> no, don't be offended. <laughs> well, thanks for coming in today.